So you're probably gonna have a whole bunch of different projects for your own website because then you'll be able to track mobile, desktop, tablet, and then in each of the different locations that you're targeting. If you're tracking your website's ranking on Google, using Google, you're doing it wrong. In this video, I'm gonna show you a much more robust approach that you can take to track your website's ranking. It's the approach that we use at Exposure Ninja across hundreds of different client campaigns, and it's awesome, really powerful, and so much better than trying to track everything manually. So, stay tuned. Okay, so you wanna track your website's ranking. What a lot of people do is they go straight onto Google and they type in my keyword and they have a look and see where their site shows up. The trouble with this approach is that there's no guarantee that the search results you're looking at are the same that your website visitors are gonna be looking at because what happens is Google customizes and tailors the search results based on our previous search and browsing history. So for example, if you always search for a particular keyword and then you see your website and you click on that site, that's an indication to Google that you see that site as being relevant for that term. That could therefore influence future searches that you carry out. We've had it in the past, before where clients have said, oh, I'm ranking position three for this keyword and we check and we're like, uh, no, you're not. But because they'd always done that search and they'd always clicked on their website, over time, Google thought, great, when they search for that phrase, that's the website they're looking for. So therefore that site shows up better in search. So if you're trying to check your ranking on Google, please stop. Like looking for love in a nightclub at 3 a.m. It's a fundamentally flawed strategy, which is only gonna lead to heartbreak and disillusionment. Instead, I'm gonna show you how to use a tool to do this, which makes it all completely automatic. You can track your competitors' rankings as well, and it's fantastic, much better. So here's what we're going to do instead. We're gonna use a tool called SEMrush, which by the way, at Exposure Ninja, we freaking love SEMrush. All our clients, all our campaigns, all our research pretty much is done inside SEMrush. In fact, when my firstborn child, Luca, was born, there was a conversation about his middle name. Should it be SEMrush? In the end, we decided for something else instead. Timothy. So to us, SEMrush is really the default tool and the starting place for this kind of thing. Now, SEMrush is a paid tool, but don't tell anyone. You can actually get a free trial of SEMrush if you go to thankyouninjas.com. We managed to negotiate it with them. It's not publicly available, but you can get it because we freaking love you almost as much as we love SEMrush. So how does the process work? Well, I'm going to use an example business today. I have no affinity to this business at all. Don't know who they are. I've got plenty of suggestions for their website. So if they want to get in touch, fine. We're going to use this business here. So it's UKExhibitionStands.com. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to stick the website URL into SEMrush and it's going to give us loads of data. Now I'm going to take you through what some of this data means in another video and how you can use this to reverse engineer your competitors. But just for now, let me run you through some of the basics that we're looking at. You can see an approximation of the amount of search traffic that this website is going to be getting. You can see some stuff about backlinks. And down here, you can see the top organic keywords that this website is ranking for at the moment. If we click view for a report, we'll see a full list of all of these keywords. Now, this is great. This shows us where they're ranking at this moment in time. And we can actually go back in history and have a look at other dates to see where they were ranking at previous points previously. Previous points previously previous to that, which is kind of useful. But what we really want to be able to do is we want to be able to log into a dashboard and see how the ranking has progressed over time for each of the different keywords. And better still, we love to be able to see where they sit against their competitors. Luckily, we can do this and I'll show you how in just a minute. But the other thing to point out at this stage is that SEMrush will actually show you what competitors you maybe should be looking at as well. So if we go over to the competitors tab, you will see here other websites that are ranking for the keywords that you're site is ranking for. So this is what we would call search competitors as opposed to business competitors. So you might see sites in here for your website, maybe like Amazon or Wikipedia. So these are other websites that are ranking for terms that you're ranking for, but they might not necessarily be business competitors. Okay, so how do we set up this thing and how do we get it so it's tracking? Up here at the top of the page, you'll see a little projects tab. If you click on the plus icon, you can set up a new project. We're just going to stick in the domain and we're going to give it a name and then we're going to click on create. And this is going to set up a new project for us. So projects are where your website is going to be tracked on a daily basis. So you can see here, 
There's loads of things that you can do. You can track your website technical audit. You can track on-page SEO stuff. You can track monitoring of your brand. You can use a social media poster. There's loads of stuff that you can do. But what we're really focused on today is position tracking because this is where your site is ranking for different keywords. So we're going to click on the little setup spanner thingy. So you're going to put in your location because this is going to be where SEMrush is tracking from. So we're just going to put UK here. And you also want to put your full name in so that you can track in your local map pack. So I'm just going to put in their business name here and then we're going to go over to keywords. So this is where we start entering the keywords that we want to track. There's a few different ways that you can do this. You can enter them all manually and we will do this once we've conducted keyword research. We'll put the keywords in manually but I'm going to show you a bit of a shortcut that you can use instead. So you can actually go over to the SEMrush tab up here and then you can have a look for the different keywords that the site is ranking for if we click on that and what that's going to do is it's going to do that search that we just did where we saw all the keywords that the site's ranking for and it's going to list them all here. Freaking loads of them. Amazing. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go through these and filter out any that aren't really relevant to your business. Now I'm not going to do this in loads of depth now because it'd be a really boring video. Not that I've ever made a boring video. Right? 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 So what you're going to do is you're going to put each of your different keywords in here and then you can add a tag if you like. So what we might do, for example, is let's say that we wanted to start off with just these four keywords here. Now these are all basically exhibition stands type keywords. So we might put in a little tag like that, which would basically tag all of those as exhibition stands keywords. Okay, so you can categorize them and then this tag allows you to see how groups of keywords have performed as you do things like add separate pages or whatever. And once you've done that, you can click on add to project and you can see now here are the keywords that are being tracked with the tags that they're in. Now I'm going to add the rest of the keywords in here as well. We're just going to drop them all in. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here that isn't relevant because your website will be ranking for stuff that isn't necessarily relevant, but I don't really have time to go through it. We're just going to add those to projects as well. So now we have a list of keywords that we're going to be tracking in our project and we can click on start tracking and that's going to set them all up in this new project. So once you've set them up in the project you'll see that SEMrush goes through a process of identifying where they're ranking at this particular moment in time. This is going to give you your kind of base level scores that you'll be able to start working from. Okay so SEMrush has loaded up our data and we can see some stuff immediately here. So first of all we get a bit of a dashboard for where our keywords broadly are performing. So we can see we've got seven keywords in the top three positions, 16 in the top 10, 23 in the top 20, 56 in the top 100. If we go down here, we can see the top keywords. So these are going to be the ones that are ranking best and SEMrush thinks are driving the most traffic. We can also see an overall visibility score. So if this was zero, it would mean that we're not ranking in the top 100 positions for any of our keywords. If it was 100%, we would be ranking position one for all of the keywords that we're tracking. If we click over onto the overview tab, we're going to get a graph. So over time, this graph is going to change as we increase our visibility in search. What we're not looking at at the moment is any competitors. So we can find some competitors and we can put them in and track how they are doing as well with these keywords. So if you want to add competitors to track, what you can do is click over on here and you can see these little boxes here. So you can track up to four competitors. If you click on that, you're going to see suggested competitors. Now these are based on the keywords that you're already ranking for. So when we had a look at competitors in SEMrush and it showed us these are other websites that are ranking for the sort of phrases that you're ranking for. So you can add these in. Now, of course, you can add your own competitors if you've done other competitor research linked to another video there, or there are particular businesses that are on your kill list. We all have them. Then you can add them in. You can add them in in different colors. So I'm just going to go through and add some of these in different colors so you can see how it works. And then over time, what you'll see is that each of these points on the graph is going to move as their visibility changes. Down here, you can also see all of the keywords that all of you are ranking for. So for example, UK exhibition which is the main site that we're looking at here. You can see position one, you'll be able to change this date. Obviously, we've just put this in right now, so we've got no historic data to work from, but we'll be able to see how this has changed over time. And we'll be able to choose the little date ranger here to see how things have progressed. And we'll also be able to see where competitors are ranking for each of these. So one of the things that we'll use this for is if we notice, for example, that a particular competitor's page has increased in ranking significantly, we'll go and have a look and see what that particular page 
page has done. What have they done differently? What have they changed? Maybe they've added some content. Maybe they've got some great links to that page. So we can then go and reverse engineer that and do the same for the site that we're working on. Another great feature of this tracking is that you go over to pages and you can see how each of your individual pages is performing. So for example, we can see that the home page on this site is ranking for 30 different keywords. And we'll be able to see how this changes over time because with this difference thing, you'll see this going up and down. So for example, if you make a change to your homepage, like you take a bunch of copy out, you'll be able to see that the keyword count goes down because that page is now ranking for fewer phrases. Final thing I wanna show you on this rank tracking is up here. So you can choose between different devices and different locations. So SEMrush will track your ranking on different devices and they'll even track your ranking in different locations. For example, you might wanna track another country or you might wanna track a particular area inside your main location. So I'm just gonna show you how to set that up. So first thing that you do is you click up here on the little tab and you can add a new device or location. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two things. I'm firstly gonna add London. So we've just added London there and you can see I'm looking at local search volume, particularly in London. So this is perfect for you. If you've got offices in particular locations, you wanna track your ranking in each of those locations or you're a national company, but you've noticed that a lot of your business comes from one specific area, then you can track that specific area as well as nationally. So you'll need to go through the same process here and enter in your keywords. So you can either enter them through manually, SEMrush or Google Analytics. So the best thing to do here is really just to kind of copy and paste them from your other campaign. And then we're gonna click on start tracking after we've clicked on add to project. And once we've started tracking, that's now gonna set up a separate project, which is tracking exactly the same sort of stuff, but from this other device or this other location. So you can do exactly the same thing to add another device. So I'm just gonna show you how it would work setting up a mobile tracking, for example. So your mobile ranking and your desktop ranking aren't always the same. Good idea to have visibility on both. We can do exactly the same thing here. So I'll just pop them in, click add to project, and then that's gonna set up a third project, which will be mobile traffic in that location that we've set, which is London. So you're probably gonna have a whole bunch of different projects for your own website, because then you'll be able to track mobile, desktop, tablet, and then in each of the different locations that you're targeting. So that is how to track ranking like a pro. A few tips before we go on what you're gonna be looking at as your ranking moves. Firstly, it's a really good idea not to panic if your ranking moves up or down significantly. It's a little bit like the stock market in that ranking can behave quite erratically, and sometimes Google trying out different things, which can cause a massive increase. The rule with SEO is that usually things aren't as good or as bad as you think they are. So if your ranking one day explodes and you didn't do anything, it might not last, so be very cautious about that. On the flip side, if your ranking tanks one day, it's worth waiting a little while to check that it doesn't come back fairly quickly because Google's just playing with different algorithmic stuff. So obviously this is only one of the things that you can do in SEMrush. Uh, there is so much that you can do. Don't have time to go through all of that stuff right now, but you can see that tracking your ranking in this way is a much more scientific and logical way of doing it. You're not being influenced by your own search results. So that is the position tracking feature in SEMrush. That's how we track ranking for the websites that we own and that we run. I hope it's been useful. And don't forget, if you like this video, then you can subscribe. There's a button down there. And if you click that little bell icon, then what happens is you'll get a YouTube notification when we release a new video. And don't forget also, if you want some free help with your digital marketing, then you can request a review from Exposure Ninja. We're a digital marketing agency. We do this stuff for our clients and we've had some ridiculous results for our clients. So what you can do is you can go to ExposureNinja.com, click on that big button and request a free marketing review. What will happen is one of the team at EN will record you a 15 minute video showing you how you can improve the performance of your website, how you can increase its ranking, but also increase the conversion rate to turn more of your visitors into leads and sales. It's completely free of charge. It's absolutely awesome. There's loads of amazing reviews for it on Facebook and Google. So go to ExposureNinja.com to request yours today.